When a baby is conceived in the womb, look at what happens. That baby is 100% a human being. And that's the reason why when a woman uh, uh, gets rid of a pregnancy, it's an offense. It's a, it's, it's a prosecutable offense. And she gets rid of the fetus, she can be prosecuted. Why? Because life doesn't begin at birth. Life begins at conception, as far as man's laws are concerned. But it's another story with God. Because with God, says, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. So your life didn't begin on 21st June 1978. Because God says, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. So long before you were put in your mother's womb by God, God already knew that you were there. You were there. Are you getting that? Yeah. Now don't imagine yourself in heaven in a corner somewhere, just waiting for my time to come. Because the life of God is in his words. The life of God is in his words. Where did you exist? You existed in God's word. You, you were not existing in a corner somewhere in heaven, and then God had packaged us. Then was end up with you at Uyu, number. No. Just like those that preach that gospel of, um, you see, when someone is miraculously healed and he goes to the hospital and the doctor says, wow, uh, this lung is not like what we had done an x-ray on. It's, it's a brand new lung that you have. There are those that have preached the gospel to say, you see, heaven has got refrigerators where God stores limbs, he stores eyes, he stores livers and all those things. God doesn't need to do that. God doesn't need to do that. No, he doesn't. You know, I personally believe that even the Garden of Eden, um, when we get there, if you don't agree with me, you ask the Lord Jesus and he'll confirm. He'll tell you, Pastor Sota, was true. I don't believe that the fruits in the Garden of Eden used to get ripe at the same time. Like, have you seen your uh -huh, lemon trees? Have you seen how many yellow trees around? Some of the neighborhoods, they even get overwhelmed. They just leave them. Today, we'll ask you. Uh, I don't believe that the fruits in the Garden of Eden used to get ripe all at the same time. Even if there were 20 mango, let's assume there were 20 mango trees in the Garden of Eden. I don't believe. They would get ripe at the same time. You know why? Because when Jesus came, which is God in flesh, which is God in flesh, right? And he performed a miracle to feed 5,000 people. Look at what he did with the waste. He says, gather what remains, that nothing be wasted. God is not a waster of what he gives. That means that it's not possible that God was just letting mango trees, all of them ripe, when God knew that Adam could only eat four mangoes a day. Are you getting my point? Yeah. And this is why, relate with God with your spirit. Relate with God from your spirit. So, um, number one, the victorious burial and resurrection of Jesus brought us Christ in you, which is an environment of perfection, an environment of stability, an environment of strength. Because you, you see, God's respect for environments. You know, any time you find something repeated, just know that it is a principle with God. Like I told you, the baby in the womb of a woman, she lives in her environment that is so different from the environment outside. It's a world on its own. And that baby is so controlled from that environment. Everything outside. Listen, the baby in the womb, is not worried about all the things that people outside are worried about. Because the baby lives in his own environment. 